Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Demonologist. This game has been a lot of fun to explore and I still have a lot to learn. Uh, last time we unlocked the hospital map for the first time, which we played together with Psycho. You unlock this when you reach level 10. Now this map is crazy. It does a lot of cool interaction and it's massive as well. So there's a lot of places the ghost can hide. Uh, and today we are gonna tackle that map by ourselves on the hardest difficulty. Let's see if we can do that. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go so uh this is gonna be my first time playing the hospital map by myself last time uh, i explored it for the first time and i did it together with psycho and this map uh is very difficult it's very big i think i'm gonna start off just with the emf uh we should just start with 100 percent sanity yeah we are fine we're just gonna try and find the ghost quick I hear wolves or dogs, probably wild dogs. I'm going to take the thermal and an EMF. Uh, hi there, doggies. Now, this map is crazy. If you haven't seen it before, it's probably going to be a terrible idea to go here by myself. Because um, there's some creepy things that happen. Lots of creepy things. Uh, it's really cool. Every map in this game has its own unique exorcism, unique... Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell? Uh, what an entrance. Hi there. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's always there. I think that was a random event of me just opening the door. Uh, as you can see, these maps are kind of spooky. They look amazing. Uh, and there's lots of secrets to find. And every single one of the maps has its own uh, exorcism, which is really unique. It's an interesting way to, to do it. Uh, also, I'm, I'm looking around for these. Is it in here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, you got to follow the letter trail. Hi, ghost. How you doing? Can you talk? Can you hear us? Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of bodies left, ar left around. Uh, we can't go back here. Oh, boy. Now, any of these doors could start open randomly, so it doesn't mean that the ghost is here. Because the mechanics in terms of, like, finding the ghost... And uh, doing evidence is very familiar to most ghost hunting games. You you have your trusty EMF, uh, which has a cockroach on it, as you know, with other <laughs> all other ghost hunting games, very regular. Uh, oh. But uh, what makes this game so unique is stuff like this. Is You see that right there? Crazy. <laughs> stuff like that. It's really cool how... Uh, basically, if you talk to the game, there is, like, secrets you can unlock, such as that. Most of the time, if there's text on the, on the wall... Oh, I need to find a... I need to find a few more letters. But most of the time, if there's text, you can see we found row, 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 your boat. Bentley down the street. Oh, even four. Hi there. Are you in here? I broke something. Now, we're playing on hard, as I said, which is uh, gonna be a tricky thing to do. EMF 4 here. I'm just gonna leave that there. Check what how cold it is here. It is around 10 degrees, so we probably found the ghost room here. It's in the giant... <laughs> ah! I've never seen that one. What the hell? <laughs> it's, it's over here. Right, I'm gonna leave everything, because I can just walk down the hallway. Hopefully not regret that. Oh, it's very dark here. I need to turn some lights. I forgot. Uh, at least we found the ghost room extremely quickly. Uh, I think if I just walk in a straight line, I should be fine. Um, but you're gonna notice when playing this game, uh, when starting out to play this game. I haven't really done a guide yet, but that's because I don't feel confident en enough yet. Uh, because I haven't played enough. I, I, I've learned the basics and I know how to survive and I know how to, um, play the game mostly. But I feel like I need to, like, get it down a little bit better before I really start pretending like I can teach people how to play. Um... If you are starting out, I would recommend rushing sanity pills. Most of all, I think sanity pills are the item you need to have early, uh, especially if you're playing on the smaller maps. Like on the bigger maps, uh, you, it's going to be a lot harder to get away from the ghost once it starts hunting because it just starts locking the the, the doors down completely. Uh, and there's what you're going to notice when you when you get hunts in this game is that there's no hiding spots. There's no way to hide from the ghost. We're already at 80% sanity. I'm going to take a sanity pill. Sanity is not messing around in this game. Once you hit like 60 or 50 around that mark, the ghost just start uh, hunting nonstop basically so you got to be careful uh, i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the evidence that's easier to get and i'm gonna just leave the esg there for now since it's so hard to get um 
Did we try the new voodoo doll? Is there a voodoo doll? You're putting a kappa at the end. I know there are cursed possessions in this game. There's a Ouija board, and there are tarot cards, which I have no idea what the tarot cards do in this game. Uh, I just I just haven't tried them enough. Or doggies. Um, but yeah, what you're going to notice is that the hunts are extremely difficult because there's no hiding spots. Literally, the only thing you can do to survive during a hunt is to get away from the ghost... Most of it, just have a crucifix, basically. Have a crucifix, um, get away from the ghost, uh, or loop the ghost, which is, on this map especially, kind of impossible. I'm pretty sure you are faster than the ghost in this game, though. So you can just run, like, if you, uh, if you find a place you can loop the ghost around, you could just loop it forever. Uh, however, I would just... I, I, I think this is one of those games where you want to prevent hunts as much as possible. Like, if you can keep your sanity high enough or, like, use a crucifix and then get the hell out of there. Like, there's no shame in leaving. Because uh, once you get too low... Oh, what the fuck? Once you get too low sanity, it's, like, extremely hard. What the hell are you doing? I'm seeing no fingerprints on this door, even though it just touched it. That means I am going to... Sa Daily quest! Buy tools from- this is new? Buy tools from the store, read 0% sanity, that's fucked. But- uh! Oh, the cables were new. Oh my god, that's awesome. Dude, this room is crazy, huh? <laughs> Jabez, hello! Can you chill out, please? Did I get a high EMF there? I did not get a high EMF. So we have daily quest now. That's something new that I didn't know about. Uh, I'm gonna fill in though that it is not fingerprints evidence. Probably also not EMF5. I feel like we would have gotten that with all that craziness. But anyway, let's look around for some. I need to get my flashlight. Um, look around if we can see some ectoplasm on the wall. Um, but you kind of just scan around like this. I don't know everywhere it can be. Uh, pretty sure it's just like on the wall, uh, like at like knee height. Usually, it can be on objects, too. Um, but it's like this white, uh, like, white blood splatter on the wall, kind of, is what it looks like. Uh, so it's not blood, it's white, but <laughs> it, it has the pattern of a blood slash. Uh, alright, I see nothing here. Uh, I should probably bring the spear box over here, but we're gonna, we're gonna put this down. If this, uh, maybe do some, I wanna get the letter so we can do this, uh, this thing. This is really cool. I forgot where all the letters are. I'm just gonna take this since I only really need to take the... Ah, uh, I guess we can drop it because then we can also take the crucifix and we never have to leave again. I think that's a good idea. Because uh, the crucifix is works different in this game than it does in something like Phasmo. In this game, the crucifix can stop a hunt. That's what people thought the crucifix did in Phasmo for the longest time. When people start out, that's how they try to use the crucifix in Phasmo, but it doesn't work like that. In Phasmo, it's only to prevent a hunt from happening, whereas here, if you're holding a crucifix and the ghost walks into you, it's like it it prevents you from dying, it cancels the hunt, and then you can get the hell out of there. Uh, Bloodflowers, thank you for the 11 months. Yeah, I highly recommend... Uh, I mean, as, crucifix is like the only reliable way to save yourself against the ghost so you so you need to have one eventually uh but i would recommend getting sanity pills first because if you can just keep your sanity high you're never gonna get hunted that's like the number one way to keep yourself alive if you don't get hunted you keep yourself alive so that's why uh, keeping your sanity high is so so important uh we are at 85 i think i am just gonna stay in the house from now on uh from this point forward so i am going to take the take the pill take the last pill grab my crucifix and just stay in there for the rest of the game. Um, so if you can get sanity pills, you can just take them once you rid like 60% sanity, bring yourself up to 100 again, and then you're totally safe. More doggies. Um, especially on the small maps where the games go somewhat faster. Like on the big maps, the game goes slower. However, you do get an absolutely massive payout for winning on these maps. Like it's... The, the later the map, so you unlock maps, I think at level 5 and level 10, you unlock the next map. Uh, and the level 10 map is gives you so much money if you complete it properly, especially if you're playing on hard mode, which I am. I am playing on hard mode. This is literally the hardest you can make this game. You can... We're playing on the biggest map on the hardest difficulty. There's nothing more difficult than this. I, I thought we needed some training. Alright, I got this for you. 
Hello there, ghost. Have you ridden in the you have not ridden there at all? Can you hear me? Hello. Spirit. Grab this real quick. We so can see in case the ghost hunts. So now we have a crucifix is for protection. Uh if the ghost does decide to hunt. Wait, where did my crucifix go? Oh, there it is. Um okay. Spirit, can you hear me? Can you talk? Where are you? How old are you? Can you hear me? Spirit, can you speak? Hello? Ghost. Where are you? Are you hungry? Uh, do you want to play hide and seek? <laughs> I don't think that does anything. Spirit? Maybe it moves? I'm still not sure if the ghosts move in this game. I'm going to grab my thermo. Thermo is an item I have bought. You don't start off with a thermo. Where the hell? Oh, wait, where's my thermo? Excuse me, I lost my thermo. There it is. It is still extremely cold here. Uh, what if we go outside? It, it gets immediately warmer. Uh, so the ghosts are here. Now he's ah! Oh, it's doing this again. Okay, Jesus Christ. I didn't know it could do events multiple times. Excuse me. Um, stop it. Chill the fuck out. Team of two. Ooh. You son of a piece of garbage. All right, I'm gonna do Romero. I'm out of here. I'm doing Romero. Where's the... Where's the M? I forgot. It's gotta be in the hallway here somewhere. Um, because if you haven't seen that yet, you're in for a treat. Um, the last letter I found... Oh, there it is. The M. Yes, you just have to look at them. You don't have to do anything. And then the O was also on the wall somewhere. Over here. Oh, wait. E. All right. I think we have it. Romero. What the fuck? Oh, there's a body down there. I didn't even see that. Wait, does that body disappear? No, the body is always there. Is this Romero? Oh, wait, no, the body does disappear. Wait a minute. Okay, so the body is related to that event. You won't even understand how to die. Fuck, what, what? You want to understand how we died or something? Excuse me. Don't do that. Got EMF2 off of that. I really like that they made almost anything that the ghost do does give EMF. Uh, all right, spirit. Can you hear me? Can you talk to me? Can you hear me? Nice. Okay. What did you just say? We got our first... Uh, or, uh, first evidence. And we have, I guess we also have- no. Again? You can just keep spamming that? What the fuck? How the hell, man? Oh, my sanity must be fucked up. Yeah, let's see if there's anything outside, because we did get that response over here. How can you just keep spamming that? That's not fair. I'm pretty sure- Oh! That's a ghost event. That's a ghost event. That's a ghost event. That that's a ghost event. It's not. It's totally fine. I thought that was a hunt. That is the ghost. That was the ghost right there. Okay, wait. How are you out here? I almost want to say it is not EMF five, because we would have seen this way earlier. Now the ghost can hear you in this game, obviously, as you can see by the many things that happened when I talked to the ghost. Oh, through the four. Seems in this game, the EMF is not really... Like, throws don't have, like, a specific value. It's just the closer you get to the EMF, the higher it gets. Um, but it can never go five unless it's the... Unless it's a, an EMF ghost. Alright, well, um... I'm a little lost with this ghost. Because we have gotten very little when it comes to evidence. That was not me. The ghost did that. Shoo, shoo, you, you, you. What the fuck, man? Why are you out here so much? I, I want to say it's not EMF 5. I want to say it's not EMF 5. Because we would have had that happen already. Because EMF 5 is pretty reliable. Um, but that's good. We've, And we can also probably say it's not freezing, right? Because that would have happened also. So then we are Iblis Shate or Guipo. Guipo? 
My sanity must be fucked up. Yeah, it, it probably is. Uh, but what would that be? Would it be easel canvas drawing? Ah! Ah, what the fuck? Holy shit. Uh, it's good. It's faster than I am. Uh, I'm dead as hell. Okay, yep, there goes my crucifix. All right, I think it's time for me to leave. I think this is the craziest ghost I've ever had. Okay, so you can't, you do not sprint faster than the ghost. We need to figure out if we can like rule it out based on secondary evidence here. And I need to buy a second crucifix because this is like, uh, with, with just one crucifix, once you get into hunting range, you really just have to leave. Because remember, if you leave, even if you don't get the ghost right, at least you get to keep your items. But if you die, you lose all all of the items you put in and the items in this game can be really expensive so there's no shame in leaving i mean there's a tiny bit of shame but there's it's it's cool it's more smart to leave and to stick around okay so that was a 40 percent. so it's just been draining my sanity like crazy let's read these ghosts to see if any of them do something with sanity because this ghost did something like my sanity went crazy okay if this is known to be a type of ghost that can sense and see where its spray is, even from a distance. If you're close enough to the Iblis, you can hear it use words that other ghosts won't. Okay, so this is not it, because this is basically the Diogen from Phasmo, and it is extremely slow when it is close. So it's not an Iblis. So then we have a shade. Shades are known as a ghost that are hypersensitive to light. They dislike being in brightly lit environments and always prefer the light to be off. They're more aggressive in the dark. Weakness of brightly lit environment will weaken the shade. I don't think that's the case either, because it was light. And then we had Guipo. We don't have any day. I'm gonna say it's Guipo. I don't know if my if my uh, indication or if my idea here is correct because we are also missing evidence, right? Uh, what would that be? That would be ESG as well. ESG and ectoplasm stains. I get that. That's a reasonable guess. I'm just gonna go with that. Who knows? Uh, we're gonna confirm that. That's that's my guess, and I'm getting the hell out of here before I get brutally murdered by this ghost. Now we even had sanity pills and everything, but my sanity just went crazy. What what was this ghost? Um, I did get it correct. Holy shit! <laughs> Forty five. <laughs> what the hell? Four thousand dollars just for getting the ghost correct on hard mode on this map. That's insane. Holy shit. I think you make around 600 on the small map on easy mode. So the difference between easy mode on the small map and hard mode on the hardest map is uh, about a 10x right there. Okay, so that's a big payout. Holy shit. And we did get the ghost correct, which is another win for us. So now what are we going to do with that money? I think right there, it would have been nice if we had the tripod camera. So I could have placed it in the ghost room to observe it from a distance without having to be close to it. Uh, so, I mean... I think, honestly, I should focus on this. Can I buy a second crucifix and actually throw both of them in? I can do both of them. Okay, that's a huge thing. Uh, if we can buy more... I think I want to focus on the fence as much as possible. Can I throw in a third crucifix? You cannot. Okay, you can... I mean, we'll, we'll keep this one. So you can only throw in two crucifixes. Uh, I can, however, throw in two sanity pills. So we're just going to go four sanity pills, two crucifixes, thermo. We're going to go absolutely crazy because literally only two games and we make this all back. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to try one more time on the biggest map. I mean, I'm, that was a pretty solid game. We can... Uh, and if I say so myself, hi there, kitty. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's adorable. I bought this kitty, by the way. You can, uh, you can buy, uh, like customization for your safe house, which is really cool. You can buy a kitty. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, head in there. How do I get out of the screen? Back and uh, easy. It always resets to easy, so you have to pay attention and you should put it back to your desired difficulty. Could be a bad idea. I mean, it was a bad idea last game, although we did get it correct. Now let's see if we can do it. So yeah. Uh, what that game showed you right there is that ruling out evidence is incredibly important. You need to know uh, which evidences are easy and which are hard to get because you're not going to get all the evidence every game. Um, from my experience, the ESG and the easel are by far the hardest to get. So you can never rule those out. Ectoplasm stains also really hard. The easy evidences, in my opinion, are spirit box fingerprints, EMF, and freezing. So if you don't get those after a while, you can usually rule them out. But uh, again, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Uh, and I need to figure out how the ghosts work. So Guipo might have done something with more ghost events. Like, oh, it does do it every time. Never mind. Um, because there's actually a lot of ghosts in this game. 
that have uh ectoplasm is easy i did not find it that game so yeah um there's many ghosts that have like we don't have any data on this ghost like the guipa we don't have any data so you kind of have to learn but they do have abilities it's not like they don't have any abilities um but we have to figure out what they do um and it might be something with uh sanity that last one because it went kind of crazy this i'm just gonna set this up bro i mean this game is so fun to show to other people because there's so many things so many fun things about the map uh that makes it makes you feel like you really own the place when you wait where the hell's the o when you know all the secrets and can show them to other people it's uh it's fun in solo and it's really fun in co-op too got a good thing going here uh, i don't know why i'm going straight back here when i probably won't have the ghost here but we'll see hello there ghosts are you here again probably not let me move this real quick sorry i'm gonna make the game a little louder just so you guys get jump scared alongside me there you go the game is now like 50 percent louder have fun with that um <laughs> i think i'm gonna go upstairs so generous <laughs> gonna check out over here because there is an upstairs and a downstairs area. Now, what's really important to know about this game is that evidence and especially EMF will bleed. Oh, hi there. Um, will bleed from floor to to a lower floor or to an upper floor. So start the game with EMF and Ecto. I really do not like Ecto. I know, I know there's been like developer adjacent people that have uh said that you should start with ecto i've tried it and it doesn't do it for me i'm sorry i'm 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 a full believer when it comes to thermo and emf because they work on every ghost because the ecto doesn't work on every ghost right um but it might actually be in here i think it is here uh oh it's always cold in the morgue okay never mind then I've learned. I've learned today. Hello, ghost. Are you down here? Always. Why is it always cold in here? Is it because of all the dead bodies? Also, uh, hi there. Hope you're okay. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs then. Fuck this place. Gotta keep the bodies cold. True. Spoken like a true serial killer. How am I doing today? I'm doing mighty fine. Uh, I feel like at this point I almost gotta leave to take a sanity pill or wait this door doesn't even open excuse me wait oh. uh what the fuck now nothing here no cold temps I'm gonna die The ghost here? I don't even know, man. Help me. He's probably downstairs. I need to leave. I need to leave and take a sanity pill because I'm gonna walk over there. I'm gonna get killed, and then we lose all our everything. I mean, that's that's kind of happens sometimes. I just need to learn the sanity drain in this game. Like I need to get used to it. I think I gotta get the heck out of here. It's probably out here somewhere in one of these earlier rooms. We're gonna try the um. The thermo in these after I leave and take a sanity pill. I really do not want to be here right now. Uh, what is there so much blood on the ground? Is this new? Was this always here? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Is this a huge map? Yes, it is. This is like the asylum of this game. Um, but it also makes you so much money. Like it is, it, it the the games take longer, but they're worth so much more. I I'm gonna check out the small maps as well. Don't worry, but um, this one is the best for making money. Okay, so we are still at 80, so I don't have to worry too much. But I got four sanity pills, so I might as well take one. It looks like there's almost space for, for eight sanity pills. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to take a this one, and it, sure, I'll take the ectoplasm glass. I'm just, I mean, I'm not really gonna take it anywhere. Um. Imagine Paranormal PI with these graphics. Oh. Paranormal PI looks similar. They're gonna do a new map for that game very soon. 
Uh, I think it's a lighthouse map, which sounds awesome. I'm gonna drop the stuff here. And check out the closer... Is this room even openable? Nope. There's nothing behind there. Here we are. We're gonna check down, check these rooms along the starting hallway. Not cold here. Spirit, can you hear me? Hear it? Library ghost? No library ghosts, huh? Sometimes hard to find the ghost if it doesn't outright do a lot of noise. Maybe it's over here? Oh, it is. It is. Wait, it's got extremely cold here. Uh, it's, it's gonna be freezing. It's freezing. Okay, we got freezing evidence and we found the ghost. Good shit. Okay, freezing evidence. It's in this hallway? Is it... Oh, is this like old Phasma where you could get hallway ghosts? Oh no, that's a disaster. Oh, yep. This very clearly, this is the ghost room. Okay, so we found it. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna leave that here. I'm gonna grab the spirit box and the ectoplasm glass. It makes a perfect ghost game for me. I mean, I'm honestly discovering new things with this game. I never would have thought that I never really thought about map design like this until this game did it. That's the thing. Sometimes uh, the user doesn't know what the user wants. And you gotta give it to them. You gotta show it to them before they know that they want it. And this was one of those cases for me at least. Um, any... Oh, what the fuck was that? There was a lady on the wall? <laughs> that genuinely scared shit out of me. I was just checking for her ectoplasm. Can you hear me? Spirit, can you talk? Where are you? Are you here? Candles, 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 candles. It's normal, it's normal. Oh, the closer you are to the ghost, the more crazy it goes and the more sanity it starts draining of you. And we did just take a pill, right? I don't see any ectoplasm, but I'm not going to rule it out yet. What is this? Oh, it's just pills. Hey, you're crazy, ghost. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> My Bark. Where are you? Can you hear me? Spirit, can you talk? It dropped one of the ceiling plates down. Spirit, can you hear me? Can you talk to me? Is that an Iblis? What the fuck is that, dude? That's something I've never heard before. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Was that just a coincidence? Or because it did also do spirit box. No, that wasn't Iblis. What the hell? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, I need to get the heck out of here. Is that a chest piece? Yeah, there's also freezing. You don't need to have the freezing, uh, the thermo, but the thermo is, I don't know why so many people are saying you should start with ecto and EMF. I'm like, why are so few people talking about the thermo and how OP it is? Like, it's actually so good at finding the ghost room. If you're in the ghost room with the thermo, it'll just tell you. It's so good. I don't know. Uh, okay. Thermo does bleed through floors. I mean, you know it then if it's, um, if it's above you or below you. Uh, I mean, that's the same thing with every evidence. Uh, we're gonna take this. Th what's my sanity? Holy shit, it ate my sanity like crazy. This might be a sanity ghost. How much is this gonna give me? Probably not a hundred. Brings me up to... Update. 90? Um, you know what? We could come back here. Let's see. I think we're gonna grab a crucifix and then... I come back here another time. So we don't have fingerprints right now, which is a bit unfortunate. In crucifix for Abaddon test. What the hell? This feels like I'm playing. <laughs> feels like I'm an insane noob right here. Uh, what is the Abaddon test? Let me figure this out. The Abaddon is widely regarded as the most cunning type of ghost. They will not hunt their prey if they are defending themselves, but will usually hunt the defenseless. Strength, selecting targets that cannot defend themselves very deadly. Weakness has a strong chance to ignore you during a hunt when you hold a crucifix. Cool. 
Bro, Ra, thank you for the 13 months. Very cool. Okay, so it'll just like walk past you. That's awesome. Okay. I mean, how is that gonna work in single player though? I'm hoping it still works. That's interesting. Miss Wundertalik, thank you for the 18 months. Okay. Let's see. Uh, can't see shit. Oh, here. Those pills are expensive. Yeah, they are very expensive pills. I got this for you too. Look at that. I don't even know if all this can work, but whatever. Now I got a crucifix. Can you give us a sign? Yeah, it's actually pretty close. I'm just gonna drop this off here. I'm gonna go kind of crazy. I'm gonna take in a sanity pill, the other crucifix. I'm gonna take a sanity pill. I'm gonna, uh, like, take one. Take one with me. Bring the crucifix as well as the, the fingerprint scanner. And then we don't leave anymore until we figured out the ghost. Uh, maybe the video cam is OP. Uh, it wouldn't be OP if there were, like, uh, orbs in the ghost room at all times. That would be really cool. Warbane, thank you for the gift sub. Abaddon works even in single player. That's very nice. I love how they did the uh, Impala uh, from Supernatural, by the way. All right, we're going to take this. My sanity is 80. That's low enough. Hey, they still have the same camera, the same video here of the lady. The lady on the bed. All right, we take all of the rest of the stuff. There you go. Kind of nice that there isn't too much equipment, so you can just take it all, like, everything in a few backs and forths. Um, you don't have to, um... Don't have to walk around all the time. But I do hope they add more. That's, that's another thing. The pills give you 40. Not on the hardest difficulty. On the hardest difficulty, they give me less. Uh, because it, it brought me from 66 to 80, or to 90, so it was, like, 30. Something like that. Wait, no, it was... Wait, I guess, like, 25, yeah? Because it was slightly above 90. Um, Alright, let's see. Get this. Oh, oh, I mean, I want that, too. Alright, we're gonna drop the spills here. We're gonna drop one crucifix here. Bring, bring this back out. Now, let's see. Do we have fingerprints anywhere? How would I even see fingerprints in a place like this? That is the one thing... This game has like the the bleed still attic effect where you won't be able to get fingerprints in some of the rooms because there's nothing the ghost can touch that leaves fingerprints. So that's a bit unfortunate. So it might be fingerprints. Could it even be fingerprints? It could, then it is a goal. All right, let's, let's read, right? I'm going to drop this, bring out the crucifix so we can read a little bit. What are we looking for here? We're looking for Hantu, Myling, Go, or Abaddon. Let's go through all of those. Hantu is... Talking to you makes you an easy... Wait. Hantus are known as ghosts that play with people's minds through their speech. If you somehow manage to talk to one, it will play with your sanity, making you more vulnerable. Talking to you makes it... Easy Makes you an easier prey for it. If it curses you by... This is the Myling? <laughs> okay, Hantu is a Myling. <laughs> Onto is a miling from Fazbo. <laughs> well, okay. And then what else? Miling is miling a hantu. <laughs> we still haven't figured out how haunt how the miling is related to fire, but it is known to have an affinity for it. It is calmer. Okay, so I I don't have a candle, which is unfortunate. Um, there is no fire around. It will be more aggressive. There is a fire around. It will put it out first before hunting. So the miling is. The Myling is, a uh, is an Onryo. So the Hantu is a Myling. The Mylik is an Onryo. <laughs> it's so confusing. Okay. And then the... No, 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 What's the goal? The goal is... They can get angry and hunt if you swear. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. What if I just say, fuck you? Abaddon... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, and Abaddon is that ghost we just checked out. Okay. Hey, you piece of shit! Fuck yourself! You asshole! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, maybe I made it angry? <laughs> That's so good, what the fuck? Uh, hello there? <laughs> I, I apologize? Oh!
What the fuck? Hey, you piece of shit! Come kill me, you coward! You asshole! <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, uh, that's a little crazy. Hey, you garbage truck. Go attack me, you son of a bitch. Alright, uh, maybe maybe cursing to it that doesn't it doesn't just create like infinite anger. Uh okay, so what are we looking for here? We are looking for Uh literally everything. Everything except the ESG. Okay. Ectopla so let's look around for ectoplasm again. Oh, I have just one okay here. Where would that even show up? We literally only need one or more. Mm. It is pretty obvious. It's like just a white glowy stuff on the wall. I'd be able to find it. I don't see easel at all. I have ha barely had ghosts roam. So that's nice. It seems like in this game they are pretty stuck in their room. So they can't really l walk around too much. Yeah, I, I would say it's not... Ectoplasm, but last time I was wrong too, so I don't really know what I'm saying. Basically. Um Can you write in the or draw on the easel? Can you draw on the easel, ghost? Give us a sign, please. Hello? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh Fingerprints would be extremely hard. What if it is fingerprints? And it would be a gull, which was the talky gull. I think it might actually be a gull. Because that was the gull. Hey, you fuckface! Come attack me! You piece of shit. Oh! What the hell, man? Okay, maybe it is a gull. I'm, I'm, I almost want to say it's a gull. You know what? I'm gonna say it's a goal. It's going it, every time I yell at it, it goes crazy mode. I'm gonna say it's a goal. Uh, I'm gonna drop. Oh, don't drop the flashlight. Um, and then I'm going to grab this. I'm gonna take a pill. Lug lug lug. I could have done an Abaddon test, but whatever. We're gonna figure that out later. So now we can do because I wanted to show the exorcism. Um, now we are gonna do the exorcism of this map, which is very cool. You have to go around- Oh, oh fuck was that noise, man? Basically, you have to assemble a- a gun uh, to fight the- the ghost. You have to go around the map and fight- find three pieces for the gun. And then you assemble the salt gun, I think, in the lobby. So then you grab it from there and you have to shoot the ghost during a hunt, which is really cool. Um... It can be a little tricky to find these. They can be literally anywhere, so you just gotta go around. Now, the nice part about them is that they do, uh, glow. They, like, glow in the... in the dark, so you, you can't see them even if you don't have a flashlight. Uh, hopefully one back here. Nope. So I can show you. Guess not. Maybe they're all upstairs. There, this... You see how it's blinking? Blinky, blinky. And there you go. It can be literally anywhere. Um... I mean, I think there is a set amount of spawns for it, but kind of just feels like anywhere. Uh, what the hell is that? There's a weird reflected light on the ground. I really hope it's a gold, dude. Imagine how much money we're going to make. What was it that I picked up? The stock, I think. I think that's what you call it. Uh, I'm going to check the upstairs and downstairs first because these areas are kind of scary to be. And then hopefully there's going to be one last piece in the... In the... Guard area. Like behind here. Did not acknowledge... Sorry, I, my sub uh, feed is completely frozen. I can't read my sub feed, so that's why I miss... Uh, I've been missing a lot of subs today. And sometimes it just happens, even if I can't see it. What the fuck is this? Wait, is that voodoo doll? Oh! <gasps> A voodoo doll. Hi there. Wait a minute. How, how to turn on the light? It's so dark in here. This is a bad idea. I needed to do this for my objective, right? That's are cool. I'm doing a doing a screenshot. Let's see. 
Uh, wasn't this an objective? A daily objective? Buy tools, that's... Okay, so put a nail through the voodoo doll. Ow. <laughs> what is this? Is this... Is this like the... Oh, hey, there's another piece. Is this like the Phasma voodoo doll where it just makes it do an activity? Because there's also a heart pin. Oh, it's just through the heart. Oh, come on, man. It is literally like the Phasma. Okay. I, that's the one thing. That's the one thing with this game. Like, sometimes it just feels a little unnecessarily uh, derivative. Because I think this game can stand easily on its own two legs. So I don't know why they some why they don't try and put their own spin on things. That's that's the one thing. That's that's the one thing I I, I kind of don't understand about this game because they obviously are very talented developers. So I don't know why they can't just because it, it's not like that's the only idea you could do with a voodoo doll. Is it? It's not like with an EMF reader where I'm totally fine with it being the same as other games. I feel like that's more of a like an interpretation that you're like basically copying. I feel like there were way many other interpretation this is why i love playing other ghost hunting games because you get to see different ways of doing the same things and it like you can kind of decide for yourself do i like this one way more than this other way and i i do have to say it's kind of the same thing with some of the ghosts where there's like or sometimes you read a ghost and it's like oh so it's just it's like because there's some ghost designs in phasma that are extremely unique like the the myling ghost in phasmo is a very unique ghost and that they kind of just took that and put it in their own game like you could have made all, all kinds of crazy ghosts you didn't have to take the ones that phasmo made up uh, like i know the names themselves i'm not talking about the names like the names are not invented by phasmo at all it, i'm talking about their abilities like the names are totally uh fair like public domain because everyone like the the names are just like folklore and stuff um but I'm talking about their abilities and the way that they that they interact with the player. That's all. Because uh, it's cool to see how different ghost hunting games come up with different things. Now this game has unique ghosts. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm still needing one part. This is gonna be a bit hard to find, huh? I checked upstairs. Is it behind the thing here? I missed a piece of the front desk. Wait, where? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Really? Um, oh, the Moro. Sorry, I said Mor Moro. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, wait, the door just closed. I'm being hunted. Uh oh. I can't crouch, man. Ah! You missed a piece in the front desk. It's not here. Wait, where? Because if I can grab it now, I can just kill the ghost. Oh, God. It's going to come. Wait, where? This thing? I'm holding out a crucifix, so that should be fine. Yeah, I, I, I said myling, but I meant more. Sorry. Beware. Where, 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 where? I don't see it. I, th I don't think I don't think there's a piece here. Oh, you mean the gun that's already there? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, false alarm. Okay, this is hard. And again, that's not to say that this game isn't unique in its own ways. Like, I think it is very unique. And I think many people are rightfully enjoying it, me included. That doesn't mean it can't have any criticism. Oh my god. Are you gonna ignore me? Wait, you just disappeared. Check library? I already checked the library. Uh, my sanity is really low. Did I take the pill? <clears throat> oh boy. Do I still have a pill? No, I took the pill. Fuck me. Okay. I did check the library, though, right? Oh! Oh. Wait, huh? What a ghost? Wait, huh? How did I live there? How did it not use my crucifix? Excuse me? Was it because I said fuck you or something? I don't know what's going on anymore. You can't open this door, right? Is it ignoring my crucifix? Is it an Abaddon? My sanity is dropping insanely fast. I'm just trying to find... Abaddon is a choice. Okay, maybe it's an Abaddon. I don't know where the hell this last piece is, man. Like, it's gotta be upstairs then, or downstairs? I don't know. I guess we're checking downstairs. This is... Oh, God. 
Okay, it is an Abaddon. <laughs> but now we can see... Okay, so... I should have waited filling in the thing. But I, the thing with this game is that if you don't fill in a ghost, you can't do the secondary objectives. Like, you can't have someone else work on assembling the gun while you are um, trying to figure out what ghost it is. That doesn't work that way. You have to first... Everyone has to select the ghost before you can start collecting the gun. Uh, which means you might make a mistake that you could have solved by sticking around longer. Okay, that's really cool, though. That literally means I'm invulnerable as I am holding this, so there's nothing I have to worry about. There's literally... So this is literally a free game. I can just figure out... I could. I just need to get the gun, and then we win. Easy peasy. There's the voodoo doll. I guess I can also do this, then. I can just pull the voodoo doll. Okay, there we go. Pull the voodoo doll, so I get that objective, the daily objective, without... There you go. <laughs> without any negative. Okay, where the hell is the last piece of the gun? Check my sanity. Probably using the voodoo doll made my sanity go bye-bye. Uh, earlier said, in case I miss it, the voodoo doll can trigger events, not just activity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it is back here. Okay, there you go. Nice, we found it. Let's go. Uh, music is creepy. Okay, so we found it. Pretty objective. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's like the voodoo doll in Phasmo, right? Or what now? And trigger event, not shared activity. I mean, isn't that... The oh, so I can do ghost event. I see, I see. But that's activity in this game. Because there's... I mean, I guess there's throwing as well. That's true. Um. What the fuck? Where is the ghost? It's ignoring me right now. Does that mean when I'm defend like when I'm defending myself with the gun, it won't attack me either? Where is it? I'm not seeing it right now. Okay, I have to. Where is it? I have to scroll up to get the the gun out. Oh. All right, there you go. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Now I'm really curious. So obviously we got the ghost wrong because that was clearly an Abaddon, which might be honestly one of my favorite ghosts to go against then. Like it ignoring you when you have the crucifix. That's hard though, because if you have a friend, like if you try to take a hit from a friend. Oh yeah, wait for 0% sanity. I did it. <laughs> I did everything. Look at that. We did all of the objectives. Easy peasy. Nice. And the daily objectives are resetting in a few hours. Okay, how much money does that give? Oh my... Oh, it's because I got the ghost type wrong. Holy shit, that's only $600. That's insane. Okay, so you really need to get the ghost correct. Otherwise, basically sticking around is pointless. And I only got 21% experience. Yeah, kitty, I need some help. Thank you. I need some consolation after that madness. Okay, anyway, that was awesome. Now let's check out um, the Cyclone Street map. Because that map also gives you a lot of money. Uh, and we... <laughs> Like, I, the, the big map is extremely difficult. I want to wanna chill a little bit with this one. I don't think we need... Yeah, you don't need uh, the candle for this one. I'm just, I'm just going to put it in to use it in case I get a ghost that's, like, weak against fire. Uh, and we'll see. Go on hard mode again. I don't know how much money you get. I think it's quite a bit. Um, even on Cyclone Street. Obviously, the big map is going to give you by far the most because it's the biggest map. Um, going to grab all of this. You do the secondary? No, no, no. You cannot do the secondary objectives before finding out the, um, finding out the ghost type or filling it in. The ghost models in this game are really cool too. Jesus Christ! I really like the ghost model. Yeah, I, it is weird that Cyclone Street House gives you more money than the first house, even though it's a harder map. And there's still people uh, fig trying to figure out how the hell to do the Maria ritual here to open this door. Apparently, you can't open it, but it's really hard or something. Can you stop? You son of a piece. The first map is really cool, though. I love the first map. So I really would like to see them increase the rewards for the first map. Because it is kind of a shame that you don't get as much money there. Limbo. The 
so cool. We will come for you. This is actually nice to open this, by the way. <laughs> because you're a little bit safer over here. It's kind of like a hiding spot, I guess. To a certain degree. Okay, where the... I should probably hold out the EMF instead. I guess you can swap between them. Like, check the room first with this, then go to this. Because I saw, thought there was a 10 degree room around here. Probably upstairs. The one thing that happens with Cyclone Street is that you often have bleeding from upstairs to downstairs, which can make it hard. Now, there's apparently an interaction. Oh, I did not turn. Oh, I did turn this on. I turned on this light. I forgot. Oh, I did. There's apparently an interaction when you go on the balcony here. Oh, come the fuck on, bitch. Oh, uh huh. Is it here? Let's see. Hello? Can you be killed out here? Probably. Let's see. It's not very cold here. Not very cold here. Televisions are just... Television is on anywhere. Hi there. Lust! Baby sounds as well. Bathroom downstairs, maybe. Yeah, I think it's not upstairs. It was just bleeding through. Maybe it's kitchen? Or just living room? No, it doesn't. I mean, at least... Oh! Hi there! We got tarot cards. Let's go. We got extra money, by the way. How much money did we get? A significant amount of cash from just doing some side objectives. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's just up here and the thermo isn't really giving me much. Because obviously we got a lot of uh, interactions to happen in this room. I mean, it is relative. Oh, unless it's this is a specific room. No, I think it is here. It's just not very cold. It's just a very warm ghost. It's like, oh yeah, and there you go. It's going down slightly. Okay, nice. This is the ghost room. The light is actually working here. How beautiful. Uh, this light was broken though, right? Yeah, thank you very much for breaking everything. Breaking my hopes and dreams. Ghost will not kill you on the balcony. Very nice. Good to know. I don't know if you can get there. Probably not. The door's gonna lock. Okay, we're at 75. That's sanity pill time. And then I would like... Easy evidence. Can I actually find... So what did we have last game, by the way? We had an Abaddon. Which is... Team of level 5. Okay, yeah, I didn't check much for... I, I should have stuck around longer. Nifana, thank you for the 7 months. One thing about the guillotine, if you hadn't heard, it kills a random team member, not the one pulling it. That's not a fun thing. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Imagine playing with the randoms and you just constantly get killed by some fucko with the tarot cards. That's so rude. What? Oh! You get, uh, ectoplasm. That's what it looks like. So that's why I said it looks like blood... But then white on the wall because it's it's kind of like a blood splatter pattern. Nice. Okay. So evidence. First evidence is going to be ectoplasm stains. Now we don't longer need this. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you speak? Spirit, can you hear me? Hello, ghost. Oh. EMF. Or. And fingerprints. No fingerprints. I'm pretty sure it's a 100% chance for fingerprints. So that's no fingerprints right there. Uh, team of four. Handy, handy. Thank you for the nine months. Alrighty, ghost. Can you give us a sign? Is it going to be freezing here? It is actually warmer now. Excuse me. Mm. Ah. I'm confused. Hold her outside, right? No, it's not even. Hello, ghost. Can you give us a sign? Are you back here now? I feel like this ghost has just teleported through the floor or something weird. It was literally here just a moment ago. We got ectoplasm. We got the door to be closed. We got all kinds of stuff. 
How the fuck did it move that fast? All right, bring in the rest of the stuff. You can get killed on the balcony. Okay, turns out people are just confidently wrong. It's like back in the good old days of Phasma when people would just say the wildest fucking stupid shit without any supporting argue or supporting evidence at all. What is my sanity? 92. Yeah, I me when I spread misinformation on the internet. He 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 he. All right. Give you this. And give you this. The most annoying evidence. And I got my crucifix now. You don't You're not gonna ah! <laughs> Holy shit, brother. <clears throat> James. Oh The one thing that I kind of miss in this game is no like constant side objective. Like I know there's the side objectives for Doing the exorcism, but I would love to see because there's so many events. It kind of reminds me of this is a ghost where there's so many events You want to be able to take photos of the events and make more money Like the events are really cool But it would be especially cool if you could take a photo of something like that and then get a big payout you can destroy me. I mean I will I'm doing it right now. Oh, never mind So cool. All right, spare box, nice. Probably get the hell out of here and take a take a bit of a sanity pill. The fuck? This is a ghost is still getting up. This yeah, we just. I mean, we can play it. Uh, we can play. Maybe we'll even play that tomorrow. Cause I want. I don't want to start Subnautica tomorrow and then immediately play Demonologist with CJ and Psycho on Thursday. Cause that's pro hopefully happening on Thursday. Um, and then we'll start. So I think starting Subnautica on Friday would be perfect because then we have the whole weekend and everything to go crazy on it. Um, Because I haven't played... Like, this is a ghost is really fun too. It also has a lot of customization that I think is really cool. Uh, yeah, Obsidio has basically stopped getting updates. Uh, I mean, it happens. People get busy. Uh, okay, let's see. I have a pill. Are you here now? You... Yeah, it's decently cold here. I think it is still here. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for easel. Freezing. So it's definitely not freezing unless it's bugged. So it's ESG or easel. No EMF5. ESG or easel. You give us a sign. <clears throat> hmm. That's actually kind of annoying. Unless it is just freezing. It was ESG. I didn't hear the... Bzzzd. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Lights, right? The shade has something with lights. Oh, yeah. The shade has... Well, what are you doing? Here's idle animation. Kind of sick. Um... So then we can just keep the lights on, which luckily the light didn't break in here. Uh, my, oh, where did my crucifix? What? Why do you sometimes just put it away? Yeah, no? yeah, the shade is a mirror. Uh, can you give us a sign? Is this a cactus? Or is this a plant? Can you do something? Can you give us a sign? Hello. And then for the other ghost, what is the other ghost? The Guipo, which we have no data on, but we assume it's something with sanity, right? I don't know. Maybe. Can you give us a sign? Hello, ghost? Can you do something? Can you give us anything? You piece of garbage? You piece of shit? You fucko? Like something like a ghost that gets angry when you curse at it? Very creative. Especially given this game has so much with audio. Like, it's a... Smile! Like, there's so much with talking in this game that that feels really fitting for this game. I, I would love to see more ghosts that interact with, with voices. Hi there. Um... Jesus Christmas, man. It's weird right now. It's not doing... I would say it's ESG and then a Guipo. 
But like it's hard to know because um it's Gipo? Okay, it's Gipo, sorry. Gipo. Um let me see. What's my sanity at? 77. That's not that high. Or not that low. So we need to sit around a little more to get hunted. Turn the lights off. We can turn the lights off to see if it early hunts. That's a good idea. Maybe it will. Let's see. Yeah, we can buy the camera. And you give us a sign. It's so hard to get the, some of the evidence, man. Like, getting the ESG and the, the easel drawing is so difficult. Like, I barely ever get it. I almost always have to figure out the ghost using uh, secondary evidence or, like, ruling out other evidence. Can you do something? Hello? Smile. Ghost. You do something, you piece? Piece of shit? You threw this on the ground, huh? How did you... You threw that, but not the thing on top of it. Excuse me. How'd that work? Am I holding a crucifix? I am holding a crucifix. Can you do anything? I think I should add another ESG and another, and another easel. I think that is gonna speed up drastically. How fast you get... I... I I still feel like it's got to be ESG. I've gotten easel drawing fairly easily most of the time. Yeah, the ghost drawings in this game are very pretty. Um, there is a name for the ghost as well, but I don't think the name of the ghost actually matters much. All right, could you do anything? Peace, let me... Okay, the light did not break when I... Because the lights can break. You can literally just go into a room. Also, this, by the way, my favorite interaction. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Absolutely amazing. So good. If you turn on, if you just spam a light, it can't break, right? Yep, there you go. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, can you do anything? Hey, you son of a sack of shit, can you do something? I'm gonna go with e ESG. I'm gonna go with Guipo. Because this shit's doing nothing. Guipo. Here you go, Guipo. Now we need to find the time. And someone said they saw ESG, right? I can always blame that random person in chat. Always be like, it wasn't me. Oh, I thought I saw it there. There's some kind of like drawing lag or something. I'm not sure. Uh, can also be in the basement. So if you have never seen this map, by the way, now I am looking for a time on the wall. And then once I find a time on the wall, some clocks will appear and then I have to fill in that time on the clocks. Uh, I still have a crucifix, right? I'm just making sure. Aha, there it is, 10, 10. Now there should be clocks. I'm just gonna hold out this. The clocks also only spawn in specific positions. If you know this map very well, you can find them super fast. You usually get drawing through the video cam. I see. My 10 10. I'm gonna be snuck upon by a ghost. It's so hard to survive in this game. Like, once a hunt starts and you don't have a crucifix, you're kind of fucked. I've been having the songs of In Sound Mind in my head. So much, by the way. Very cool game. I was editing the videos today. I was like, fuck, the songs are good. Where's the last one? There you go. In the ghost room. How fitting. So Boom. Get fucked, idiot. And it did not write in the thing. And it also isn't freezing still. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna... I would say that this should be correct, e ESG. Unless it was somehow easel drawing it. If it is easel drawing, like, if we got it wrong here, we need to buy multiple easels. Because otherwise, like, getting it in a reasonable time is completely impossible. Let's see. Was it correct? It was... Are you fucking kidding me? So it was easel drawing? <laughs> what the hell? I was trying for so long, man. Okay, so I'm buying extra easel drawings because this shit is not, this is not fast enough. Okay, so we're buying an extra easel 
and an extra ESG so he can put those in the ghost room uh, and get it twice as fast, hopefully. I think you can only have up to one extra, right? Let's try an extra. Okay, so you can only have up to one extra, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, and then we throw everything in. Yes. Okay, now, I mean, we might as well go to the abandoned house as well. I love the abandoned house. Uh, that was only 500 bucks, dude. I'm getting absolutely blasted right now. Um, our difficulty on the abandoned house. Now, people say this game is very grindy. You forgot to ask about the drawing. I was asking it. Can you draw on the, on the, on the easel? Um, and it didn't do shit. <clears throat> So, um, you, you mo people said that the game is very grindy. Oh, I forgot a camera. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, that's, that's my mistake because we can't otherwise do the exorcism here. So that's, that's, cause you, that's so weird. It's crazy how you need, like, why did, what was that ghost? That was a hauntu. Um, it's crazy how they made this map, like, so much harder and you get less money for it. It doesn't make any sense. I, I really love the, um, the atmosphere in this one, though. Oh, I need two crucifixes. That's why I still like to go to it sometimes. Um, cause it's so, it, it's, it's a real, real cool looking house. Like I, w I would say they should make Cyclone the first house and abandoned house the second house, honestly. Uh, in my opinion, All right, I should have everything now. Because you need, like, t multiple items for them. Like, this feels more like a classical ghost hunting game in terms of objectives. Um, because there, you have to take a photo of the ghost. You have to uh, find, like, something on around the map. Yeah, as I was saying, people said that this game is very grindy. I don't really think so, personally. You only need really need to play like a few games until you get like the candle. I so people say get the candles first. Honestly, I would say. Oh. What the fuck? I would say get a sanity pill first. That's the TV event. Oh, there's a person. I, I, On the TV. What the fuck was that all about, man? <clears throat> um, I mean, the fact that you get a lot of money later doesn't matter for the early game. Uh, but I got into the, like, once you get the second map and you get, like, I can see it being grindy if you die all the time. I think a thing that people need to realize for this game is that, and I think that's a hard thing to, to a hard pill to swallow for people that kind of play Phasmo casually, is that once you get to low sanity, there's no such thing as sticking around. Like in, in Phasmo, once you get low sanity, most people just stick around just fine. Like they'll 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 still stay in the map and just hide a bunch. Not in this game. Once you get hunted, you either are already doing the exorcism or you are gonna leave like there's no there's no in between there's no such like you can't get chain if you start getting chain hunted you just gotta leave because because you're gonna get killed like you just sometimes need to make the choice to leave so you say what the hell so you save your uh your equipment the sticking around and losing it all would be a terrible idea okay uh it's probably one of these rooms huh magna Did I get you? Did I get you? Victoria. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Hello there. A creepy AI generated painting of a, and a cockroach. Live. Okay, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. Also, where's this spotlight coming from, by the way? That's like on this mannequin. Is it in this hallway? I got EMFs around here. There's no up... Or oh, it could be downstairs, maybe? Do you want to play ball with me? <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with the accuracy of the... Of the voice recognition. It's pretty well done. 
like you rarely have to say things twice for it to work mostly understands you instantly oh this is the room okay it's the magna room aha uh -huh. and they close the door on me <clears throat> need my four okay i'm gonna leave everything here nice oh you can just say ball <laughs> Oh, it's dark. I mean, that's even more impressive that it could pick out ball in the middle of my entire sentence and still do the event. That's well done. Only horror game where the viewer heart rate is higher than the streamer. <laughs> yeah, once you recognize the... I mean, you're kind of causing a lot of the ghost events to happen. And I'm pretty sure they don't drop your sanity. Okay, well, I'm taking a pill. Um, so let's see. Are we going to be filled up to 100 here? What now? Yeah, so it basically gives you 30. Uh, actually, I was only 20. What? I was 70, right? Wait, there's only 20. Um, okay, so we grab this. It's going to be a little bit because we take all the simple stuff first and then we're just going to drop all the easels in there. Okay, it's 20 for hard mode. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. can hide in this house no you can't hide i mean the the hunts definitely feel unfinished i'm assuming they're gonna do something for that and they're not just gonna leave it this way what the fuck was that breakable hiding spot that sounds pretty clever but what does that mean the ghost breaks them after you hide in there once so a one time like a one time use hiding spot Can you hear me? I don't think the fingerprints stay around forever, so I'm not going to assume it is. Spirit, can you talk? Can you hear me? Where are you? Are you this lady? Hello there? No specific details, but there will be hiding spots in the future. Hey, man, that's good. Arrow cards. Oh, EMA 5. You can hear EMA 5 really clearly. Because it goes much faster. Tarot cards again. I do not. Tarot cards scare me in this game. Oh, don't turn off your light, you silly goober. Uh, can you hear me, ghost? Are you angry? Do you want to speak? Can you talk to me? Hello, spirit. Where are you? Hey, Poppy, what's up? Can you hear me? Can you respond to me? Can you talk? Where are you? Are you close by? Alright, I guess you're gonna do jack shit, you piece of garbage. No. This is a dredge lighthouse right there. Um, there is no thing. No easel, or a uh, easel. Ectoplasm stains. And hide run into a room and close the Jesus Christ run into a room and close the door I mean that genuinely is not that doesn't count at all that's like just hide forehead achieve or uh response because that because the way the hunts work in this game is that they start in the ghost room and you start you are in the ghost room as well and then the ghost will just chase you down. And there's like, you can't get away from Like, it's going to follow you and kill you. Like, just hide forehead isn't like a fair... Where is my item? What the fuck? Oh, right there. <laughs> I don't really feel like that. That's a fair thing. Yes, yeah, Cyclone also has like more looping spots. It's, it's real strange. Okay, so we're going to take two of these now. I could take a crucifix, but we're just going to keep our sanity high. Like, there's no hiding mechanics. I mean, I guess there technically is... Uh, like, I guess if you... So what the death meant is that the ghosts don't know where you are. Like, they won't just fucking... Like, they're not all Diogens. They don't all detect you from the opposite side of the map and come kill you. Like, they're randomly roaming, but once they find you, you're dead. Like, I guess, yes, you can then hide by 
just staying away from it, which I've said, but it's not like real hiding. Like that's not, because it's just like complete RNG. And it listens to your microphone. I guess completely RNG. If you will die or not. And it, there's, there's no player interactivity there. It's just like, do we get lucky? Yes or no? Alright, I'm gonna actually bring in the ESG as well. I've played this a lot and it almost always knows where you are. It's so dark here. Um... What level are we now? I think we're level 15 or something. I mean, at a, after level 10, I think there is no point in leveling up. Um, I mean, the crucifix is nice for hiding. The crucifix is, like, the only way to for sure defend yourself. Um, okay, so we have... I'm gonna do this. I can't bring in the optional objectives yet. Okay, we're actually losing so much sanity here. Like, even just walking back and forth loses me so much sanity. Imagine this with easy difficulty, though. Wait, I only have this and this. Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, I already have an ESG in there. Okay, sure, we'll take this. And then we need to get a ghost photo as well. That's the thing. On this map, you have to take so many more items because you have to take the... Candle as well as the photo cam for the optional objective. Alan, thank you for the 19. Okay. Because dying in this game is is obviously really punishing. You just gotta avoid dying. Because if you die, you lose so much. Alrighty, ghost. I got a candle for you. The drawings. No drawings, if you're still here, that is. Let's see. I'm gonna check the temps. Is the temp still low? The temp is not really low. Hmm, maybe it did change ghost room for the first time ever that I've seen. Or it's just it's kind of tricky. Maybe I need to toggle it back and forth. Uh, huh? Spirit, can you do something? What, what are we at? We are at EMF level 5, and that's all, right? That's not very good. Okay, yeah, 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 it moved. I think it's the first time I've seen a ghost move into this hallway now. Unless it's just colder here for no reason. Interesting. Okay, sure. But it did change the name of the game. Copyright issues. Um, dropping this. Take this. Boom. Um, and then, I mean, I don't know yet if it is truly left this area. See again, is it slowly getting colder here? I mean, yeah, can you do something? Because the thermo is really the only way you can, or is it the back here? <clears throat> How do you rotate items? Scroll wheel. This room is, I mean, this room is just genuinely hot. Like, it can't be here. Okay. Unless this is a hot ghost. Sexy ghost. RF Ra, thank you for the 16. Right. Boom. And then that. Now do something. I got everything in here, my guy. Do something for me. I'm gonna grab this. It has thrown some stuff on the ground. Sometimes it just gets so quiet. Hello, ghost. Hey, you piece of shit. Do something. You lazy fuck. <clears throat> do I even have a crucifix? I do. Why so lazy ghost? It's definitely cold. And then bring in the... Um, bring in this thing. You get EMF. Even sometimes you get EMF without the ghost doing anything. Alrighty, ghost. I definitely feel like they make the evidence harder to collect on hard mode. Like, on hard mode, the ghost... I thought I heard writing. No. Definitely does less. I feel. At least from my experience. Maybe I'm just... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do! <laughs> Did I just open a chest in Zelda? Excuse me? What the fuck? 
Where's my where's my slingshot? Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Why did you just make that noise, you weirdo? What the hell was that? Hello? That was strange. Do something. I really don't know how to, like, make the ghost do something at some point. Like, uh, when the ghost gets to this phase where it just, like, fucking tryhards until you die. Like, it just... It just waits forever until your sanity gets low and then it starts murdering you. I'm like, my brother in Christ, don't be so tryhard. <clears throat> tarot cards? Yeah, and then just fucking die. I guess I could use a tarot card, but, I mean, I'm gonna... I'm gonna perish. And regret everything. Hanged man time. I don't know how rare the hanged mans are in this game. They better be very rare. What the fuck? Void? What is void? Steals an item? But my crucifix is still here. Wait, it stole the- Oh, never mind. It takes an item from me? What item? It didn't steal anything. I don't know. Um, can you give us a sign? It has a chance to. Okay, interesting. That's cool. That's that's unique. Why are you doing nothing, you you piece of garbage? I thought I just did nothing. Look for this. Unless the thermo is just like a liar device. If you didn't have this before. It's crazy how, like, it's been 15 minutes and nothing has happened. Has the ghost just, like, teleported to a different area of the map? Is that how ghost room changes work in this game? Maybe that's how they work? Maybe we should go around a little bit? Because I don't feel like the ghost can be here anymore. Maybe it just, like, teleports around. Uh, it's insanely hot in here. What the fuck? I was at 30 degrees in these rooms. Excuse me. Can that be ghost activity too? It's so fucking hot. There's no fire here. What the hell? Or maybe it was in the basement the whole time and it just bled upstairs. Oh my god. I fucking hate it here. That's so stupid. That's the one thing they really got to fix. They really got to fix the bleeding of... Of evidence through the different floors because it's extremely frustrating for playing the game because uh, we got emf5 and everything in the the room with the painting so obviously we got evidence there but it was just like that should from like a, a regular player perspective that should be number one uh number one thing they try and fix as soon as possible because it is it's really annoying like it's extremely frustrating okay we grab this i don't i think this might be 69 sanity nice sadly i'm bringing it up to 90 now uh we take this and this oh no i can't carry that can i fuck fine you saw freezing yeah you think that's why i filled it in throw was clean what throw well that was bullshit now we have to bring everything over there i mean i did literally say it like maybe it's in the basement and it's bleeding from downstairs but i didn't expect it would bleed all the way back there that's crazy okay we need to bring this stuff down there that's that's i mean i guess the basement goes underneath pretty far Oh, I threw the san the sanity pill. I see, I see what you mean. Okay, um, well, you suck. At least we got Ema 5 and freezing now. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I don't like that the... Oh, God. What the fuck, brother? I don't like that the flashlight turns off when you... What the fuck? Why does the flashlight turn off when you... Eh? When you drop it on the ground, that's so insanely annoying. I think I'm fucked. 
Isn't this the stairs? I can see this right here. Can I turn off the camera real quick? I can see something here. Oh, this... Okay, I can see the items. Why does the flashlight turn off? Save batteries? There's no battery. Poppy, thank you for the gift sub. Okay, now the game looks insanely washed out. Let me grab this and this. What's bleeding? It's like where it goes um, to a floor it's not supposed to be. Or like when the light is bleeding through a, a wall, that means that you can see the light on like the opposite side of the wall, for example. Just not intended. We get all that stuff. I don't even know if that can be it. Oh. Is that ESG? Is that the ESG sound? It sounded kind of like a fart. <laughs> Maybe. Just ripped ass. Erx, thank you for the 11 months of chaos. Thank you for the three. I don't know. That was ESG. I thought it was... I mean, it did sound pretty electronic. I just didn't see it. I looked around immediately, but I, I didn't see it. Alright, I got this. I got double ESG. Double fart machine. Give it to me. Grab the rest. It's ESG. Then it will be a gin instantly. So I think Jin is the most active ghost in the game. It's like an Oni. What if, what, what if it's not that? Could it be fingerprints? It could be fingerprints. So the ectoplasm I don't have to take. I mean, we do have to use it later, but we don't have to take the ectoplasm right now. Fear box. Uh, fingerprints. Ah! What the fuck was that? What the hell just happened? Jesus Christ. This got the shit out of me? What happened? I saw like something explode, but what the fuck was it? Good God, man. Chill out, brother. Okay. Can you hear me? It was Spirit Box, but no, it wasn't. Spirit, can you talk? Can you hear me? Could it be Spirit Box? It can be. That's Abaddon. Spirit, can you hear me? Where are you? Oh. What's that? What was that? I don't have a candle in here. Did you blow? Huh? Bird, can you do something? There's no candle in here. Well, how did it blow out a candle? It sounded like Five, it. But... Four, ah! Two, one. Don't do that. Don't you spook be spooky like that. Don't count down. It's making me nervous. That's the door. What are you saying? Ah! What the fuck? Damn! Oh boy. Wait, is it Iblis? This is the only room where you can actually kind of loop, though. But the one thing that they should really change as well... Like, just hide forehead doesn't work if you can't... Wait, is that an ability? It's obviously not an Abaddon here. Like, if you can't turn off your flashlight by pressing a button, but only by toggling over to it... And it detects your electronics. That doesn't work. It looks pretty fucking fast to me. Could it be Iblis? Oh god, it's still going. Let's have an Abaddon because it was chasing me like crazy. Okay, so no Abaddon. Well, what's my sanity? Let's check it. Flashlight isn't F? No. The flashlight, you can't turn it off. You have to toggle over to it and then click it off. That's the only way. Which is a terrible idea because you're gonna toggle away from your 
crucifix, which means you can die then. Uh, what happened to my sanity, brother? What the fuck? Okay, whatever this ghost is, is this crazy sanity drain. It is known to be very fast. We don't. I feel like I would have been killed if it wasn't Oni. I mean, maybe it's just the gin. Maybe it's just the ESG. Mayor talks a lot. What does a mayor do? Difficult to detect. If there is someone to hunt, it will. If there is someone nearby, it will not want to hunt. Okay, so it cannot be a mayor. It cannot be a mayor. Oni drains sanity, but it, why? It doesn't say it at all, though. Oh wait. No, it says it. It says it in the in the flavor text. It says if it wants to, it can quickly play with your sanity and decide to kill you. I guess it did loot kind of fast. All right, sure, we'll say Oni, just purely based on that. Now I am in trouble though, in big, big trouble, because we're gonna have to. Oh boy, this is a disaster. Because we're gonna have to find the fingers. This is like, wait, it's not even worth it. Because I'm gonna make like 200 bucks. It's not even worth it to do this exorcism. Like, like I, they should just make the exorcism worth more if they want you to stick around for it. Uh, and I didn't even get the... Oh, okay, so it was just ESG. The fart was an ESG. Okay, I see. Makes sense. All right, anyway, that map is a terrible disaster. Let's go over to the hospital. Because uh, that's way, uh, way more lucrative anyway. Um, okay, so the ESG sounds like a fart. Keep that in mind. If you hear, if you hear the ghost toot, toot, Toot somewhere, fill in ESG. So, I mean, it makes sense, but I don't know what the... Sa I guess it makes sense. Because the sanity drain is bound to the amount of times that the ghost does an activity. And it did... I guess every time it talked to me, that was like a ghost event, which drained my sanity. Okay. That does make sense. So, the... Keep that in mind. Can I put this back, by the way? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is pretty dangerous. Why didn't the ghost get scared of the cross? Uh, it'll just eat the cross. And I'm guessing an Oni would have instantly killed me there because the Oni is super fast. So we need to keep that in mind as well. So if you can run away from the ghost, you're not you're, you're not dealing with an Oni. Yeah. Hello, ghost. Where are you at? What is this? We really need to add a crouch button to this game, even though, like, it... You don't have to give it functionality. Like, additional functionality, but... I just, sometimes I just want to see what's on the ground, and I just can't crouch down, which is weird. Oh. We're getting knees soon. They're adding a crouch button. Crouch will be added. Let's go. Crouch and jump. Jump is a terrible idea. I think I've only ever played one ghost hunting game that had a jump and it was insanely bugged because you could just like jump on top of things and the ghost couldn't get you. So yeah, jumps are a bad idea. Immediately check in this room. Show me the big, show me the, oh, rats. That's what I wanted to see, but all right, rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Jesus Christmas. What the fuck? Alrighty, ghost. What are you doing? Really want to level up and get more money. We we mo made most of our money in that one game. Uh, that ball seems to ev happen every time you get here. I can kick it around, right? Boom. Play ball with the ghost. Okay, can we find the? Voodoo doll here again? No voodoo doll. You do something. Hello, spirit. What we've learned is that if... Oh, it's slightly colder here. There's a multiplayer, yes. Some people were upset about this game only having four player. What the fuck? What just happened with my camera? Uh... That it only... What the hell was that? I think there's only like a hand... There's only one ghost hunting game that's more than four players. I just think four players is like the perfect... 
amount. Like, I've never been like, oh, I wish I could play Phasma with six people. It just seems like at that point it's gonna be fucking super chaos. It's gonna be cold here always. Yeah, it's always cold in the in the morgue. Because of this guy. This guy's a cold. I mean, it's it's extremely cold here now. I'm guessing it's just the morgue again. Oh. Okay, so it's upstairs. 16 man ghost hunting team. Okay, so it's in the hallway here or something? I could actually hear that. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, hello? Nothing. Slightly colder here. You just need to do something. There's... Like, I guess the, the thermal would be OP if you just walk into the ghost room and it would always show a cold temperature if it was the ghost room. But there's really no other reliable tool to find the ghost room. But we heard it, alarm up here, right? So it's gotta be up here. Maybe even close to the entrance. Or just anywhere in this hallway. Hello, ghost! Can you do something? Getting warmer here. Nothing there. There's this cool interaction that can happen if you look this way. I don't know if it's... Do it. Do it! <clears throat> Over there, on the wall. It's random, though. Never mind, then. Liquia, thank you for the 16. Uh, okay. I mean, never mind. The thermo is extremely useful. All the way here, freezing. Okay. Good stop. That's a really good ghost room as well. I need to get the hell out of here and fill it in. Nice. Yeah, basement is always 10 degrees. I know that. Okay, good stuff. So we have our first evidence. We're going to get daily quest, new daily quest soon. Um. Now we just need to hopefully... I want to get easel drawn because it looks really cool, but it's so fucking rare. Okay, my sanity must be a little tanked. Yeah, a little tanked, not much. Uh, and then we're going to grab... Oh, I only threw in one crucifix? Or did I... No, I only threw in... Oh, I dropped it on the ground, I remember. Uh, we'll grab all the obvious evidence. Yeah, the easel art is very good. It I don't know if it's all AI generated because it looks like mo of most of the art pieces in the maps are AI generated. You have a higher chance to get it if you move it around the room. Why? I like, guess there is there a mechanic? Has that been explained by the devs? How would that work? Doesn't seem like a sensible mechanic to me. Dev confirmed it. But like how is there like a when you pick it up, it has like a check, like next 30 seconds it's gonna do more or something? So then you can just like spam pick it up and smack it down like just spam it i don't know i mean obviously you could say like if you aren't getting it in one area you can move it to another area because the ghost might not be in that area like obviously that's that's that makes sense okay i'm gonna take all right taking both of these we got ectoplasm? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I didn't- I- I, I saw it, but I didn't build it in. Let's see, what- what do we have? Drip box, ESG, easel, no EMF. Okay, we don't have to look for that. Oh, Blade, thank you for the prime. Um, that hospital here? I mean, that makes sense. Just hospital, nothing else? Seems like people are delayed, or my chat is delayed. Oh, ghost. I got this for you. I want to see your beautiful drawing. And I want to hear your fart. I want to hear your fart. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in another easel, though. I paid for it. Might as well. Welcome to the hospital. Yeah, there needs to be a crouch and we can teabag our friends when they fucking die. That's very important. Stream lagged once or twice. 
my dropped frame count is exactly zero, which is a total of 0.0% of the overall bits that have been sent your way. So I beg to differ. Unless Twitch has been fucking up. Alright, I want to have one of these. I'm going to take a pill. And take two crucifixes. I mean, there's really no other reason. I'd rather have a crucifix than a sanity pill. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, there you go. I was like, where did this thing go? Sometimes when you toggle over to an item, it, like, hides it from you. Ghost hunting plus Unreal Engine. I... I know I said, I've said this criticism a lot, but if you would ask me, is this game made in Unity or Unreal Engine? 100% of the time, I'd say un uh, uh, Unity. It doesn't look like Unreal at all. It looks like Unity to me. Like, I'm not saying it looks bad, but it doesn't look as good as most Unreal Engine games, for sure. At least in my opinion. I don't I don't want to I don't want to burst your bubble or make you cuz I, I love this game too, but it does not look as pretty as most Unity uh, Un Unreal Engine games. Hey, there's drawings. Let's go. Look at that. This are, I've never seen this one. Holy shit. Like an What the hell did? That's crazy. Okay, well, easy peasy. What is this? It's a demon. Uh-oh. What does demon do? If it's a... Oh, this one! Oh, interesting. So the demon has a, has a permanent hunt. It is an infinite hunt. If it decides to kill someone, it will be very hard to stop it. As long as you don't make him angry, the demon usually won't hunt you. So it... I, I don't know if it's actually infinite, but... It... Will be super, super long. So yeah, there you go. All right, we found it. I mean, we have a crucifix, so we can stop it with that. Uh, now we need to find the pieces. Pieces of the puzzle. Make it angry. I wonder if it really would never stop. That would be crazy. Chippy, thank you for the nine months. You had an infinite hunt from a de demon. You were in the house for 30 minutes. All right. Well, that is insanely stupid. What if you don't have a crucifix? I guess you just fucking die. Like, you, there's nothing you can do. You're just dead. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what they mean by make it angry. Is that just once you get like the 0% sanity? Or is there like something else? What the fuck? the fuck man or do you have to like say fuck you a bunch stone jacks thank you for the two months amundsen thank you for the 17 check down here first just in case we get lucky I mean, we already have two out of three pieces Freddy Krueger moment Rolling the thing down again. I love that interaction, by the way. That's really cool. I don't forgot which piece we needed, but... Hopefully we'll find it up or downstairs. Otherwise, we're in a pickle. This is going to be so much money. What the hell? I'm telling you, this this map is where it's at. You got to go to this map for the money. I didn't check this room yet, I think. Uh, oh, we got a board. <laughs> I'm not using that. Not touching it. No, no, no. Yeah, don't say don't be a coward. Imagine if this is a ghost really needs to add, like, voice recognition rather than the weird janky voice buttons they have right now with the text-to-speech. It is... Yeah, the board is so bad. It has only ever made me regret using it immediately. I've never been like, oh, nice. I, I find the board. I guess you could take a pill, though. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Does it please be in the basement? Otherwise, I'm going to be doomed. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Sound. We found everything. Now we just have to shoot it. I'm gonna get a perma hunt against a demon and then kill it. Wait, so I have to make it angry then. So th in this case, I guess the board is gonna be useful. Because we can make it angry with the board. We have two crucifixes, right? 
No. No, I don't. Then I can grab this. Um. Is it gonna be active already? Does it, like, start hunting after you get the weapon, probably? Um. What's the box doing here? Was the box always there? Is someone in this box? What's in the box? I'm leaving that there. I didn't draw on the other one. I don't know if it just stops doing evidence eventually. Um, I'm gonna drop this. Oh. Now we're gonna ask, where are you? Hide and seek. Hide and seek. I don't think that works. How old are you? Why do I have a gun so I can shoot the ghost? How old are you? Can you even overwrite questions? Eighty-two. Oh. Eight hundred years. Okay. Uh, how long? When did you die? How did you die? Are you angry? Where are you? Oh! Oh, hi there. Nice fucking try, dumbass. Okay, so you can't actually break the board or use it with no sanity. Interesting. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense, because some ghosts don't really want to hunt you. This is going to be our first full, full payout mission. Let's see it. <clears throat> oh, the, the demon run. Um, because the other time we won, we didn't get... I mean, we it should be a demon, right? We're going to get a sane amount of money. Oh my god, 6,006. Hundred bucks. That's the most money you can make in this game. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, one and a half levels as well. Uh, and then with that money, oh, dude, we got 10k. I didn't have everything I want. Oh wait, we'll buy a tripod camera. We'll buy a tripod camera, and then we'll buy. Uh, so I could buy the lighthouse, but I'm gonna save. I, I can't buy that. Not right now. I want to buy the radio. Radio, yes, please. And then anything else? Football, yes. I would love this. But now, wait. I need to add them. Use and use. Can I play music? What? We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Wait, but there's so much music. What the hell is this? <laughs> Hip hop? Rock? Electronic? Oh, that. What the hell? That's actually kind of sick, though. Country? Country. <laughs> okay, Jay, thank you for the... Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Well, uh, all right. So, yeah, if you want to make money, you got to do that on that map. Uh, I think that's going to be a great point to, to cut our first part, though. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I really like this game. Definitely. So, there's a few things I think they should change. They should change the bleeding. From the one like one floor to the other floor they should change the um the payout of the maps because i really think that getting this much money on this map and like not even a thousand on the first map is just such a why, why is there such a huge disparity like it's insane how little money you make on the rest of the map because it means that i kind of just only want to play on this map i don't want to play on any of the other maps which is a shame because they're amazing and they're so unique and you should get an equal payout or at least somewhat of a reasonable payout for each of them uh i think it would be more fair uh I, but i'm a real big fan of all the all the customization the gameplay itself is really fun the map well the gameplay itself is fairly simple it's mostly the maps that carry the whole experience so yeah let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the love the games here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Jensen. Or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.